Good day guys and girls. Are you having some home charging issues like I am? We're gonna do some troubleshooting and see what we can come up with, so stay tuned. <laughs> Good day guys and girls. As you can see, it is quite snowy, quite cold out here too. We've had the worst snow and worst weather of the year so far over the past week or so. And that might have something to do with why the vehicles won't recognize the charger, but we'll show you what I'm dealing with and maybe some other people out there are dealing with it too. And we're gonna show you how to troubleshoot, so stay tuned. So to start off with, we've got the Grizzle E Duo Charger. And what that means basically is it's a Grizzly charger, a dumb charger, quote unquote, it's not a smart charger, but it's got two plug ends, which is pretty neat, especially when you own two EV vehicles. Now, the issue we were having is when we took this plug here, which was reserved for the blue car, I'm trying to do this one-handed. You get nothing. And what it was doing before was it was just doing that spinning wheel and then eventually it would just stop. So you can see every time we put that in, that's what it's doing. The plug in to me looks fine. Um, there could be some snow or ice in there because like I said before, we're getting the coldest weather um, that we've had in a long time actually. So come over here, we'll take the other charger. And again, I'm trying to do this one handed. I apologize for the video quality, but I think that the uh, content is much more better than anything else. So we plug in the other charger and it charges. So we're going to have to do some figuring out here. I think what we're going to start with is we're going to take this plug, we're going to try to de-ice it if that happens to be what it is. But as you can see, like it's in this holster. The only thing I don't like about this holster is there is just tiny little holes. See that daylight coming through in the back? So maybe that allowed some snow and ice to get in there and it got into these contacts. So that's gonna be the easiest thing to do. Then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna just take the cover off of the Grizzly and we're gonna see what's going on in there. Perhaps there's a fuse or something like that. And actually what we'll do too is we'll go through the cord and just visually look at it and see if there's any nicks or scratches or something that might be just causing an arc or a fault and uh, we'll go from there. But thankfully the one is working right now. But uh, like I said, it's a little bit of troubleshooting. Maybe some people out there are dealing with it too. And hopefully we can come up with a solution together here and get you on your way. So stay tuned. Okay guys and girls. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna see if the real problem is some ice that maybe got built up in there. So we just got a common hair dryer. Uh, you can also use a heat gun. The problem with the heat gun is if you're applying too much heat in too much uh, in one spot, it's just gonna melt things. And there's connectors in there that are probably pretty sensitive. So we just wanna make sure that uh, everything is uh, protected. And we'll start with the low heat method first and see what that does. The cord is actually very heavy. So, I don't know if we can see that, but. I think that's good enough. I really don't think that this was the issue, but we'll plug it in and see if it works. 
So I didn't feel or even see any uh, water come out of there when we tried this, but whatever. Fingers crossed. Wow. I am absolutely shocked. It seems to be charging. So that's all it was, was there was a little bit of uh, snow or ice that happened to be up in there. I honestly thought that I had blown a fuse inside the uh, Grizzly Duo Charger, or I possibly had nicked the cord here with the uh, uh, snow shovel, because the snow shovel's got a, a steel edge on it. So I was thinking the worst, but in all reality, everything is working out fine. Hey guys and girls, so I'm just gonna jump in on this part of the video here and say that I actually did order the other Easy EV plug from Grizzly. Paid for it with my own money, I'm not sponsored by Grizzly. Everything that you see on this channel, I am not sponsored, is money out of pocket. Um, I just found that Grizzly had the Duo charger and it was the charger that I needed for my situation because I've got two EVs, but I had actually bought one of these uh, holsters. They actually call it the heavy duty Easy EV plug. I had actually bought this when I was still using the Ford mobile charger, and I actually have a video on how to install this particular holster, and that goes for any holster out there, but just from all my research, I had seen that this uh, holster here had been kind of the best quality one out there. You actually get to wind the the cord and everything and actually hang it off of here. And now some of the benefits of this one compared to at least the uh, generic or the regular holster from Grizzly is really becoming apparent because as you can see, everything is totally enclosed. The only part that's open is right here. And this is for a lock to actually go through. And it's just a standard trailer hitch lock but they actually sell it on the Grizzly website so that when you put the charger back in there that no one could actually pull it out. This would work if you were in a public setting, you didn't want somebody using your charger. But like what I was trying to point out on the video, you can see that yes, you've got the two holes up here, but you've got this slot at the back and what this slot is is when the actual charger gets put back in here, it actually locks into here so it's got some openings and this is actually put up against the wall you can see that there's always this slot so snow i think was getting in here and actually working its way into the the plug because the plug is actually nosing right into that and as you can see on the heavy duty there's not any holes except for the two up here for that lock to go through. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put this one on here. And I think that was the whole problem that we were having at least this winter with our charge plug. I hope that it helped you guys and girls out. Again, I'm not sponsored by them, but honestly, I have not found a better charge holster than this one here from Grizzly. So check it out. And whether it matters to anyone or not, it's actually made in Canada. So it's not made in China. Sorry for Americans, our neighbors down to the south, but it is made in Canada. So if that means something to you, it's just another bonus too. So I hope this helped you boys and girls troubleshoot some of the issues that you might be having. In our case, it was something very, very simple. But if you're having some issues with your home charger, I would definitely check out first, trying to get any ice or snow out of there. Uh, failing that, you could check the cord, make sure there's no damage on it. The last resort or the last option would be to check out your owner's manual for your charger and see if there's any troubleshooting uh, stuff that you can do and see if there's any fuses inside that might be blown or any kind of safety mechanisms that might need to be reset. But in our case, luckily, we're charging and I'm super, super happy. I was not expecting that at all. So hope you enjoyed the content. Uh, we don't have the flashiest content, you know, uh, there's no cool cutaways or 3D effects or anything like that, 
but I firmly believe that the content is more important than how it actually looks and how it's being presented to you. I firmly believe that with a little bit of information, a special tool here and there, you're more capable than what you know. And this goes for men, women, old people, young people, it doesn't matter. A little bit of info, maybe a special tool, you're gonna get this job done. Tune into The More You Bear for more information like this. If you're looking for Mach-E content, home maintenance, property maintenance, car maintenance, this is the place for you. Because remember, you never know unless you bear. We'll see you on the next one. Mm-hmm.